Yeah, so um, my muscle strength actually got started when I was a personal trainer. And, um, but, uh, you know, as a personal trainer, what I realized is people came to me um, when they were motivated. But the problem with motivation, motivation has an extremely short shelf life. And so when they weren't replacing motivation with dedication and consistency to a goal that they were trying to achieve, uh, nine times out of 10, they were falling out. And so, uh, but another thing that I noticed was um, my training sessions started turning into coaching sessions and more, more life coaching sessions instead of what we were doing in the gym. And so um, kind of picking up the, uh, um, the signals that I need to pursue that, I went and uh, obtained my um, health and life coaching certifications through the Health Coach Institute. And, uh, um, and here we are now, I've joined you guys as an executive coach and uh, uh, excited to move forward. Talk to us about some of the certifications you've got. So I have, um, I have four different certifications through uh, the Health Coach Institute. I have the Health Coach or the, yeah, the Health Coach Certification, Life Coach Certification, um, uh, Mastery Coach Certification, and the Transformational Coaching Method Certification. Um, and I obtained all that within um, a little more than a year and a half. Okay. So the certifications really provide uh, me with tools uh, for me to be a better coach for people. And um, so like the transformational coaching method, um, you know, so well, I'll back up. So the health and life coaching certifications, by obtaining those certifications, um, that gave me the tools to work with people on um, behavior change. Okay. The uh, mastery and transformational coaching method certifications, those gave me the tools to work with people and start to work on the level of uh, belief and identity, which uh, kind of like layers of the skin, behavior is kind of surface level, and then you have your belief, and then you have your core identity, who you truly believe you are, what you think, uh, what you say after the two words, I am. And so those certifications help me. It, let's, let's take, for example, somebody that says, I am a failure. Um, well, no, you're really not a failure. Um, you're maybe just a work in progress. And so through coaching, um, help them understand that, no, I'm not a failure. I'm simply just a work in progress and I'm continuing to move forward with whatever goal I'm trying to obtain. Yeah, I think, I think some of the scariest things out there people say sometimes is I've arrived. I'm there, I've got it. Um, and uh, I, I think that's when the, the learning stops. So, so you yourself, I mean, you've gone through you've applied everything that you've learned to yourself talk to us about uh you just picked up some awards this weekend didn't you yeah yeah actually so i um um i, I one of my hobbies I, I call it a hobby um is uh bodybuilding and so um i actually just did a four and a half month prep uh dieting and training hard um i went to the natural indianapolis um this past weekend uh it's a natural bodybuilding show uh, drug tested and all that stuff and I walked away with uh, uh, first place in open uh, men's physique class B uh, first place in um, men's physique masters 35 years and older uh, and then I also won first uh, in masters overall um, so uh, yeah it was a pretty good pretty good outing that takes a lot of dedication a lot of timing a lot of hard work yeah yeah you know you can you can correlate that process with any professional process really um, because there's, there's a ton of work involved. Uh, there's plenty of days where you don't want to do it. There's plenty of days where, the, again, going back to motivation, motivation is simply not there, but you have a goal that you're working towards and you know you have to be in the gym. You know you have to um, you know, eat right and, and because you know that there's a goal that you're working towards, you see the deadline, you see the, the, the goal in front of you. Um, and so uh, everything you do is working towards that goal. And it's kind of the same thing on the professional side where you're trying to grow a business um, and everything you do has to be geared towards growing that business or uh, even on the, per on the personal side, um, you're trying to, even if you're just trying to be a better person, everything you do is going along the lines of trying to be a better person. Um, and so, yeah, so this, this process here is a lot like, um, uh, a lot like those processes as well. Yeah. And uh, as far as growing a business, I mean, you're an individual, you are an entrepreneur, and uh, uh, you've been able to develop yourself from 
somebody who was a little bit flabby and out of shape and said now you're winning awards and and uh, uh, running a business as well as you're an author on the side right yeah 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 and you know and, and the thing is like it's you know I've been I've been an entrepreneur now for a couple of years and you, you talk about uh, the word I've arrived um, you know and, and that's it's the same thing in, in sport it's the same thing in business where it's it's the, it's the constant journey it's the constant uh, uh, process and you have to learn to enjoy the process uh, otherwise it's going to eat you alive to a bury you So I work, uh, it'll be about a two month process where we meet for 45 minutes to an hour each week. And um, the first month we focus only on personal side, uh, on personal life. So the whole point to this coaching is there's this there's this old misnomer that uh, you leave your, your personal life at the door when you go to work and you leave your professional life at the door when you go home. Well, that's not, that's simply just not the case, right? It's the both, both sides are, are very much a part of you, very much ingrained in you. Uh, you can't just release it. Some people think they can, but no actuality is still a part of you. You're gonna think about it it's, to some degree at some point in time during that during that day. So what I do, you, you know, and, and another piece of that too is what happens is when people are going through challenging times on a personal side, they think those challenging times are, are there to beat them down that, that um, you know, that the, it's just happening to them. But the thing is, if you look on the sign behind me, I don't know if you can read it very well, but on the sign behind me, it says, this happened for me, it didn't happen to me. And that was by Dr. Sean Stevenson. Those were his last words uh, before he passed away. Um, he fell out of his wheelchair, hit his head, went into emergency surgery, came out, and those were his last words. So, um, you know, and, and for me, I, I live my life that way. Um, and, and it's not always fun going through challenges and, and you still feel human emotion when you go through challenges. But the bottom line is those challenges are there to make you a better person. Uh, so the first month we focus on personal challenges and how we can change the lens through which we see those challenges and understand that those challenges are making us a stronger person. And then on a, in the second month, we focus on the professional side. Again, going through professional challenges. Maybe the sales just aren't happening or, or maybe um, you're, you simply don't have a connection with your boss and you're not quite sure how to how to how to fix that um, so we go through those things and um, and again those challenges are there to make you a better professional and so it's kind of like the analogy I use kind of like uh, when we were growing up we, our elbow hurt or our back hurt or something like that and it'd be a growing thing right it's 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 inevitable we can't get we, we, we can't get around it we're gonna grow we have to grow it's a physiological thing that has to happen. And so we go through growing pains. Well, when we're an adult, we go through growing pains as well, but there's two differences. Now it's a psychological growing pain. And the other difference is now becomes a choice. So you either choose to grow through whatever it is that you're going through, or you choose to stay stuck. Either way, you're winning the game that you're playing. So, um, so for the two months that we work together, we focus on the personal side, change the lens on, on, on how we're viewing the, per, on the, per, the, uh, the personal challenges, and then the second month we focus on changing the lens on how we can uh, view professional challenges as making us a better professional in our, in our profession. I tell you, it, uh, you've got a lot of depth and a lot of experience, a lot of certifications behind you. You've gone through a lot of hours and training. And um, uh, as the owner of this franchise and two others um, here in North Central Indiana, uh, we are we're, we're very proud to bring you on board as a partner with us and uh, as a part of our training division and and have you as an offering to the clients out there that might have need for an executive coach uh, just like you.